Hey chat, your fighting game defense, it sucks. And you know what? I know what you're thinking. Yeah, f you internet guy. My defense is like super cool and I'm like super sick and stuff. Okay, I get it, but bear with me here. I'm gonna show you guys two clips and you guys let me know which one you guys like more. Alright, let's be real here. Everything you've seen so far right here in these clips has been affected. But... None of us initially picked up fighting games because we want to hold back and press no buttons, okay? We initially picked up fighting games because we wanted these clip-worthy, delicious combos. We wanted to kick some ass! It's literally psychology. Holding forward is really cool and super sexy and sweet. Whereas holding back is just initially lame. It's actually what we call it in the fighting community. It's called playing lame, literally. That's not to say that defense isn't important though. If you take fighting games with even a little bit of seriousness, you guys know that defense is actually super duper important. But it always boils down to psychology though. That hypothetical 12 year old is always looming over your shoulder telling you, hey, stop camping, you're being such a scrub. Oh my God, fuck you. <laughs> Justin Wong has been saying it for years. He says that he can actually tell how someone's gonna play in a fighting game just by talking to them for a few minutes, just by knowing their personality a fucking tiny little bit. And shit, he's right. The more ADHD you are, the more eccentric you are, the more likely you are to want to go ham sometimes, to just want to go in the ass, you know, to want to go ham. Uh, here's a clip of Uma winning one million dollars at Capcom Cup. A million dollars is gonna be awarded to Uma. Nobody had him on the cards to take the cup. He's representing with Jury. He's representing Taiwan. And he will be your first million dollar champion. If I won a million dollars, if I won a million dollars doing anything, and if I was on a stage, it doesn't matter where I was actually. I would be tossing shit. I'd be shitting my pants. I'd, I'd literally be punching people. I would be going insane. Most people, if they won a million dollars, they would go crazy. Here's Uma again. It doesn't apply to every game, but for some games like Street Fighter, it really does pay off to be a more cool-headed person. But who cares about all this? What am I trying to say here? Are you doomed to just be sucky at defense? Are you doomed to see an opening from your opponent and have to go in, have to go in right now? I have to go, I, this is it, This I'm gonna kill him right now. No, 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 no. There are actually a good number of these eccentric players that are just hype beasts that are still really successful, but they have to go through steps and they're aware of the steps that they have to go through in their heads to be successful here. And it all boils down to two things. First of all, if you know that your head goes to that spot where you have to go ham, and you know that you are going to lose your patience, be aware of that and seriously slow your brain down. Slow your thinking down. Practice your defense. Actively practice your defense because you know that you'll get there in your head quicker than other people. And chat, second, and most importantly, in my opinion, don't be that guy that says, holy shit, JP looks so cool. I'm gonna pick him because he's really cool. I'm gonna make him work with my play style. Sure, you could do that, but why not just play to your strengths? In every single fighting game, there is that character that's for you. Play around with everybody. Even if it's not a top tier character, even if it's someone that's high tier, someone that you just gravitate toward more. If you see that they play your play style better, you have to pick that character. You have to wonder why some of these pro players pick some of these characters that are a little bit more niche than no one else is picking. It's because they know inside of themselves that that character would fit more with their play style. It's not a coincidence. Just know that it's okay to play like a lame asshole sometimes. Be lame. You have to be lame. If you have that life lead, run away. Be the asshole. It's fine. You have to reach over to that hypothetical 12 year old on your shoulder and say, hey, go politely fuck yourself because you need to improve. Anyway, thank you for watching chat. This has been one of my video essays, but I have a bunch of other wacky shit on my channel. Make sure to check it out and I will see you next time. You know you want me. Bitches hungry, let me
to wipe this morning? 